Oh, I need to move everyone now. Okay, this is getting worse and worse by the second. Okay, um... Ephraim needs to go up to... Dwussel. It's a shame that these freaking guys are right in, in front of the town. Uh, that is a suicide move. Um... I need to move everyone forward. They'll be in range of the ballista, but honestly, I... As long as Vanessa isn't one that's in range, I think we'll be fine. Because it'll only deal like 11 damage. Okay. So, we'll move Joshua up. Oh, actually, no. It would be much better if I had my Cavaliers go. So, we'll have Ford rescue Amelia. Uh, we'll have Franz go and rescue Natasha. Joshua will just have to deal. Loot will just have to deal. As will Garcia and Ross. Okay, Ephraim needs to get to Dwussel ASAP. Seth can take care of this guy. Uh, trying to ferry everyone forward is a pain. And what do I want Vanessa to do? Um, uh, that's getting dangerously close to all of these freaking ballista. Okay, well, this guy attacks her. Again, it's only five, and she's only taken five damage. So, I think... I think she's fine where she... Is she fine where she is? Uh, we have Cormac and his gang right behind me. Yeah, she's fine where she is. All right. Less units I have to deal with, the better. I put Seth back there, but Seth can't tank all of them. Damn it. Please tell me Dwussel will attack that guy, so that way Ephraim can recruit him. That's what I seriously need right about now. <laughs> this is bad! Okay, thank goodness, I missed loot. And that guy is pretty close to dying. Dwussel, please take care of that guy. Um... Okay! You seriously couldn't... You seriously couldn't use your axe. Ugh, okay. Ah! If Vanessa misses, she is dead. Oh, shoot! This is really bad! Okay. Um. Um. Yeah, there's no way Ross can... Okay, will Ross be able to kill... Ross won't be able to kill Cormag. Ooh, he will take a beating, though. Ugh. Please go see. I need a miracle. Thank you! Okay. Okay, okay. So that's something. 
at least helped me out a little bit. Um, let's see. If Franz goes over there, ugh, I need to be careful though. Okay, I don't have a choice. I need to move Seth over here to take care of this guy. I need Ephraim to talk to Dwussel. And talk to him, we shall. Dwussel! Is that you, Prince Ephraim? Why are the, those grotto men after you? What's going on? Wait, we can talk later. Let's get you to safety first. Come with us, Dwussel. Dwussel! I am General Dwussel, the Obsidian of the Imperial Three. This name and my service to His Majesty have been my life's blood. As of this moment, it is all gone. I have no reason to continue. Dwussel, enough of this rubbish! You are my mentor! I will not let you die! Prince Ephraim, I know about the Emperor's madness. How will your death serve Grotto? Who will it help? What of your country? It's people! It's future! You will live, Dwussel, as a traitor in disgrace. I know that for a man such as you, this is more agonizing than death. But you will live nonetheless. You will live for something more important. I understand. This old fool's life is yours. And now we have Dwussel added to our party. Dwussel is a great knight. One of the other promotional paths for a cavalier. They have access to a wide variety of weapons. And Dwussel automatically starts with an A rank in all three of them. Not to mention, He's level 8 and is a promoted unit. Dwussel is a very powerful unit, but unfortunately, he doesn't exactly have the greatest movement in the world. Okay. I'm gonna have him hold on to that lance. What I need is to lure Cormig down. I need to make sure that I deal with Cormeg. Mm. Without killing him, that's the problem. Okay, I should be safe. Let's see, Vanessa should be relatively safe if she's right there. Uh, let's see, if she were to fight against a Wyvern, she could take a hit if she healed. Ugh. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the furthest any of these guys can go is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can attack right here, so this is the most vulnerable spot. Guy's a lance, though, so for Ross, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, unfortunately, the flyers can just fly over those walls! Ah, shoot! Can Vanessa survive an attack from Cormeg? Fifteen. Ugh! That is painful, but she can do it. Okay, so, Vanessa, heal, and wait there. I'll have loot go, shoot. Okay, oh, how do I want to deal with this? Oh, I need to be able to protect Vanessa. So we'll put loot down 
here, and that way Vanessa is only vulnerable from one... Oh shoot, he has a killer lance! I seriously hope he doesn't use that. Otherwise, Vanessa might die. Okay, well, it's a good thing I picked up Natasha and Amelia because neither of them are going to be surviving this if they were out on the field. Okay, um... Let's see... Franz with an Iron Lance would be fine. Ford with the Steel Lance... Not against Cormeg. Ugh. Yeah, he can't outspeed Cormeg. Okay, so he needs to make sure he's completely out of that range. Otherwise, though, the other units aren't going to be that big of a threat. Although realistically, all I need is to just block them from... Vanessa. That's the biggest problem that I currently have. Uh, well, I can have Ford go over here, so that way... Um... No, that guy can... Yeah, he can attack Garcia in two different directions, and I can't stop one of those. So that's meaningless. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure I've been this stressed out before in a single map. I, I am going to be really surprised if I make out of just this turn, just this turn with everyone alive. Okay, well the obvious choice is to put Franz over here, have him have the Iron Lance, and wait right here. Okay. That just leaves Joshua and Ford. How do I want them to proceed? I could put Ford over here, and that way he's relatively safe. Ford has. Oh, I am not dropping Amelia! Oh, especially. Oh, wait a minute. Seth is guarding that, so. Actually, dropping Amelia off right there wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. That. That spot is probably the safest spot on this entire map. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll put... Ugh, okay. Like, any wrong move is going to get someone killed here. Am I absolutely certain that Amelia will be in zero danger? No. No, she won't. Can- will she die? That's the other question. Let's see. Eight. Let's see. Weight of- Let's see. Speed of four. It definitely wouldn't be able to double Amelia. It certainly hurt a lot. Okay. So, as long as Amelia is right there, she might be able to lure a Ballista. Everyone else has like a Javelin. Oh, that dude has a Killing Edge?! Oh god, this just gets worse! But that's Dwessel, so... I think we'll be good. Um... Okay, Amelia should have... Okay, I think Amelia will be fine. So we'll drop her off right here. Okay, that just leaves Joshua. Oh god... I'm putting him over here. Have him equip the... Yeah, the killing edge. Hopefully no one dies! Okay. That at least blocks off someone. Defense 
please be defense. Bronze, that's not what I need right now. Okay. Oh, nice dodge, Ross. Okay, that guy's attacking. And that takes him out, so that's one less unit to deal with. Oh no. Is our first death. Oh no. Okay, well, we press onward then. We lost Franz. Okay, but Cormeg is right there. And Luke can easily take this guy out. So we'll do that. Oh god, how is it that he still could double? If he didn't double, he would have lived. Or if he had gotten a defense up. Oh man. Okay, Dwessel. Go ahead and talk to Cormeg. We could use all the help we could get. Is that you, Cormeg? Sir Dwessel, you have abandoned your country and your lord. I must take your life. I know. I'm ready now. I have no duty anymore. But you, Cormeg, you're a soldier of the Empire. Follow your orders and fulfill your mission. I'm ready. Cormeg! To be honest, I'm confused. Must you truly die? Is your crime really deserving of death? I know my brother could have settled this, but... I've come here to stop you, and yet I find that I cannot. You see, I couldn't believe you would ever truly turn traitor. And now I stand here, looking at you, Duasso the Imperial Three. You do not have the eyes of a traitor. No. I cannot turn my lance on you, the Empire's faithful son. General Dwessel, until this matter is sorted, you travel under my protection. Cormeg, forgive me. Alright, and now we have Cormeg added to replace our fallen Franz. So Cormeg is a wyvern rider. Basically think of him as in alternate flyer. Wyverns tend to have a lot more defense and strength than a Pegasus Knight, but l suffer greatly from having reduced resistance and generally speed and skill. They're, whatever Pegasus Knight is generally not good at, a Wyvern Rider picks up the slack. Cormac, however, is pretty good considering his stat distribution, and he also comes with a Killer Lance which almost killed Vanessa. Oh god, I almost lost two units. He also has an Elysian Whip with him, though he can't use it immediately. Okay, there are four Cavaliers here. Uh, let's see, can I not, like, rescue? Oh, I can rescue them. Well, that's certainly interesting. So I could have... Um, again, what's gonna- well, the wyverns were the biggest threat. That's- that's what I was most concerned about. With- 
and brazen. Okay. What I want is for Vanessa. Let's see. So, Amelia has a move of four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Amelia could reach that. And... That dealt eight damage to her, so she could survive another Ballista attack. And then I can just use a Vulnerary next turn. So that will work, assuming... I don't put another unit in... Well... One, two, three, four, five... That area right here... Yeah, that is a safe spot. So we will put Vanessa over here, rescue this guy, and have them wait right there. And then Amelia can go into this town and see what item is here. No good. What? This. Huh? I found it. I can't use it yet. Goodbye. Uh... Very interesting! <laughs> we'll see Marissa again later. Uh, for the time being, though... Let's see, Ephraim can't take that guy out. Um... You could with Reagan Leaf. Uh, let's see, what exactly do these guys have? Sword, sword, lance... Lance and Javelin. Okay, so if I had Garcia go over here, he'll have a pretty good chance of taking down that guy. Uh, what if he's attacked by one of these sword units? Eight damage. Okay, he could certainly survive a few blows. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Okay. That's one less unit to deal with. Uh, I need defense, and Dwessel's right there. Okay, well, I could have Ross go over here. And, ooh, he actually can't double with the hand axe. Okay. Joshua could certainly survive a few blows. Now, we'll have Ross go ahead and take care of this guy. Hmm. Alright, and Ross levels up. Pretty good level up. Okay. I also need to get Natasha the hell out of there. It's a good thing that that was the last person that could have attacked Franz. Honestly, like, I came close to losing Vanessa, and if things had gotten any worse, I could have lost Natasha as well, and that would have been extremely problematic. Okay, Ford, you can't take care of that guy. Then again, does- oh, he has a hand axe. That's a problem. He needs to die, otherwise Amelia will die. Um... Well, I guess this is a job for... Hmm. I need to make sure Natasha is safe, but I have so many freaking mercenaries here! Cormac could rescue... Hmm. He could rescue loot. And then can serve as a meat shield. And then I could have Ford rescue Natasha or Seth. Seth might be a better option because of his slightly higher defenses. Also, he has higher speed, so he won't incur as big a penalty. But I have these sword guys. Well, whatever. The sword guys won't be able to take down Ross or Garcia in a single turn, even with both of them. So I don't have anything to worry about there. Uh, I could have Joshua take down one of them. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll, first things first, let's go ahead and take care of this pirate. Nice dodge, Ephraim. 
he levels up. Okay. HP, speed, and defense. Alright, pretty good level up. Okay. Now, how do I want to conduct the rest of this? I need to get loot out of there. I especially need Natasha out of there. Uh, let's see. I could just have Joshua take down one of them. Um... Let's see, if I have someone there, and have someone blocking there, then only one person could potentially attack loot. Hmm. Strength of seven, so that's twelve. Hmm. That would be seven. Okay, well, assuming I just had Joshua there, I'm just wondering what the best option would be, because, uh, but then I have these guys as well, and they could also attack Luke. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have Cormeg. Have Cormeg equip the Iron Lance, have him rescue Loot, and place him near Dwessel. Or right here. Yeah, I'll keep him right here. Uh, Ford. You head over. See, he could take that one out. But I have other matters to attend to. Yeah, we'll have Seth use the Silver Lance. Thin out their numbers. have Ford rescue Natasha and put him next to Cormeg. He has a javelin, but whatever. He should still be fine. And then have Joshua go over here to take care of... Uh, does he have a defense penalty? No, it's just skill and speed. Uh, well, if I have him go over there... That does put Joshua in the range of a lot of guys. Ooh! That is also a problem. Okay. Well, Joshua levels up. HP and skill. Alright. Okay, well, I put Vanessa in range of that guy, but whatever. Wow! Could double Vanessa? Well, then again, Vanessa's not really that high level, and she's has someone... She's ferrying someone, basically. Okay. That guy's attacking Joshua. Weakened, but not dead. More enemies on the move. Attacking Garcia. Okay. And, oh, hand axe broke. Got it. And the other guy is also attacking Garcia. Hmm. Well, I knew that they wouldn't be able to take down Garcia, but that's still worrisome. Speed and res, okay. Okay. Ooh, nice dodge, Amelia! What the- oh, physics staff, ugh! Okay. Oh, thank goodness, the one with the horse slayer decided not to attack Seth. Uh... I kind of want the Horse Slayer Lance, though, but I also don't want to risk any more units. I've already lost someone. I don't want to 
you lose another. Okay, so if Amelia goes over here, uh, she'd be dead. Um. Oh, that thing's out of moves. Sweet. So if I really wanted to, I could drop this guy off and try to have Vanessa head over there. Um, I'm going to opt not to do that. Uh, instead, I'm gonna have Ephraim help out a little bit. Okay. Thin out their numbers, thin out their numbers, thin out their numbers. Okay, um... Dwessel, you can head over here. And you can very easily take down one of them. Cormeg! You can take care of that guy easily enough. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. God, I'm still bent out of shape that Frogs died. Okay, um, Ross could be able to take him out. Nice! I don't think Garcia had a... Oh, no, wait, he should have a spare hand axe. Yeah, he does. Well, he won't be able to take out the troubadour, but whatever. At the very least, that's something. Okay, what I need to do now is make sure none of my units... <laughs> none of my units die. Sounds like a great plan. Okay, so Vanessa hits, that would be deal nine. Amelia can't do anything about that. She's better off just staying there. And hoping that these guys weaken him without killing him. I don't see that happening. Okay, um... Well, I can have Joshua. Uh, actually, let's maybe have Fron. Oh, oh, I miss Franz. We'll have Ford attack this guy. Very nice. So that way, that weakens him for Joshua. Take out. Very nice. Dwessel, 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 Dwessel. Hmm. I don't think these guys are gonna move, to be honest. Unless I get within their range. Okay, that guy will definitely not be able to get to Vanessa. Actually, who is Vanessa carrying right now? Oh, just a random soldier. She can drop him next turn. Uh... Still have that ballista, but Vanessa will be fine. Alright. Slight damage. God dang it! Come on, Vanessa! Okay... I'm gonna do is I'll put Dwessel in range, but not attack. I'll let Seth get the kill on this one. Uh, yeah. We'll use the Iron Blade. Okay. We're almost done with this. We just have to make it one more turn. And that just leaves Amelia, but Amelia should be fine. Yeah. There was no chance that guy was not gonna die. Okay, attacking Dwessel for some reason. Okay. Surprised he didn't try to go after Ephraim. Nice dodge. The boat moved. Last turn. Okay. 
no way Vanessa is gonna be able to get over there, so we'll just have her drop off. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we'll have her drop off the... I... Yeah. Wondering if he'll be in range, but I don't think he will. Okay. We'll have her wait there. And the last thing I need is... <sighs> Killing Edge and a Horse Slayer would be really nice. Uh, let's see. We'll have Garcia take care of the Troubadour. Because he could certainly use the experience. Okay. As much as I want those items, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get them. Let's maybe see what's in the shops, though. Let's see. Iron Sword, Steel Sword, Iron Blade... Lances. Okay, nothing really too noteworthy there. What about the general store? Thunder Tome, Shine Tome, Men's Staff, Vulnerary Antitoxin, and a Torch. Okay. In which case, I think we're good. These guys shouldn't move from their position. Keyword, shouldn't. Uh, ooh, I also can't go to those houses. Oh, that's a little bit of a shame, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I'm actually wondering, let's see. If I had Seth go over here, he could take that guy out and get the Horse Slayer. Ephraim could go over here and make sure that guy is dealt with. And then Dwessel could go over here. So that'd be the Horse Slayer, that'd be the Killing Edge. I do have a Luna Tome to deal with. Hmm. I don't think... Baron shouldn't move from his spot though. That's the thing, is do I want to risk a Luna, a Luna Tone and potentially a boss moving? Since this isn't a route enemy or seize the gate. If it's not seize the gate, then I am not sure if an enemy boss will move or not. Uh, it's not worth the risk to me. I've already lost one unit, I'm not daring risking another. Held on for too long. If this continues, General Volter will have me. Prepare a ship! We must flee! Quickly! B but General Volter! He'll be so angry! We're doomed either way! General Volter will never forgive our failure here. And if we stay, we'll be devoured like those other fools. Our best bet is to give up and escape with our lives. Commander Baron, wait! Prince Ephraim, the remaining enemy troops have fled. I see. And what of Dwessel? Is he unharmed? Yes, this way. Prince Ephraim, you've grown to be quite an impressive commander. I remember what a stubborn young lad you were when I taught you. Any skill I have, I owe to you, Dwessel. I'm curious, why are you being pursued by your own troops? Speak to me, Dwessel. I want to put an end to this war. I'm sure you feel the same way. As you know, the Emperor was once a man of compassion. He loathed war, and he worked to build peace across all nations. Then, one day, that all changed. But why? Why did he change? What happened? I wish I knew, but if you're looking for a likely cause, I have one. This all seems to have begun when Prince Leon 
and the mages created a strange gemstone they referred to as the Dark Stone. The Dark Stone? That's what the clerics and the prince called it at any rate. Now, I'm just a soldier. I don't know anything about these magic things. But they said the Dark Stone is more powerful even than the Sacred Stones. The Sacred Stones have the power to defeat the Demon King. If the Dark Stone is stronger than they are... Ephraim? What is it, Mur? The wave of evil I felt surging from the capital. It hungers. It consumes. It envelops and transforms. This power can tarnish the purest of souls with its corruption. Are you saying this Dark Stone is responsible for the change in Vigard? The timing fits, doesn't it? The stone is created, and then... Dressel, where's the Dark Stone now? It's in the capital with Prince Leon. He's been carrying it with him ever since the day it was created. Understood. Dressel, I'm going to the capital. I must talk to Leon. Maybe we can restore the Emperor together. I'm going with you. But we'll be fighting Grotto's army, your own men! I appreciate your concern. I've already been branded a traitor. Prince Ephraim, if you mean to save my lord and em the emperor, if you hope to restore him to his former self, then I will pledge my loyalty to you until your cause is won. General Dwessel! Men, I owe each of you an apology. You've served me well, and I've betrayed you. You speak nonsense, General! We are your men, no matter what happens. If you must leave Grotto to fight with Frelia's men, then our place is at your side. Your road is our road. <laughs> My brave men. <laughs> uh, I'm getting old. I'm a sentimental old fool. We ask to be allowed to join the Frelian army. Prince Ephraim has many soldiers. He doesn't need us with him. Please, send us older soldiers off to fight with Frelia. May the gods of war smile upon you, General Dwessel. Prince Ephraim, we must now take to the seas. The Frelian army is readying a ship for us now. We have some time to rest until it's ready to set sail. Right, we'll take a break then. Tell the men. The road ahead is bound to be a rough one. Well, hello! Tell me, are you all waiting to board a ship? Uh, yes, we are. I recommend that you abandon your plans, my friends. The locals are too frightened to set sail upon these seas. Is there a storm coming in? No, no storm. Demons. Some sort of phantom ship commands these seas now. A phantom ship? Yes, but you needn't worry for long, my friends. I plan on purging the seas of that pesky ghost ship. Oh no, here we go again. <laughs> well said, Princess La Rochelle. I, La Rochelle, am destined to become the protector of the seas. Fare thee well, strangers. Come, Dozla, we must find a ship. <laughs> Sounds fun! Come on, Ruddick! Honestly, La Rochelle, do you even think before you set these plans? Oh, please. Someone end my misery! What was all that about? Prince Ephraim, our ship has arrived. Let's prepare to board. Is something troubling you? No, it's nothing. All right, here we go. All right, and we gained two allies at the cost of our first casualty. But the war presses ever onward, and we must find a way to Grotto somehow. Still, a power that corrupts and yet has been in Prince Leon's possession since the onset of the war. Something doesn't quite add up, but we'll see once we confront Leon 
and try to talk some sense in the Vagard. But that'll do it for us here. So, next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. As we press onward towards Grotto, we head back to Erica and her quest sneaking through Carcino into the mountains of Kyre Pelin. So until next time, everyone, take care.